Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am giving the test out, I'm testing out the makeup, my first product for makeup by Mario. Some of the stuff I've been like wanting to try for a while. I'm like, okay, and then I, and then some of the stuff like, yeah, I don't know if I was, because of price, and like, yeah, no. Or sometimes I find it's too overhyped on TikTok, I'm like, no, I'm not testing that, because it's probably more like it is overhyped. And probably might suck. So I'm gonna test this out before it's too hype on TikTok because I kind of felt it inside support. Let's try and pick up a new creamy bronzer. As I like my NARS Laguna one here. I bought this one about a year and a half ago, two years ago now. I might pick up a second one of these once I get more empty because she's getting empty and I like the Laguna one so and I also have the uh are you I also have the uh Fenty Beauty cream bronzer here too in the shade Ma Makito Makato in shade 03. I like it I like it but I don't love it. I prefer my NARS over it. So I got picked up the uh, Makeup by Mario Cell Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. I'm going to try this out as a bronzer and maybe another day I might do it as a skin enhancer type because it's supposed to be like a, it's a cream so it's like a when it comes to face products when you pick up the color you can do what you want. I picked this up as a bronzer. It might be yeah, so. Yeah, so let's give this a try. I'm using my Quio brush. Makeup is is how you want it to perceive as. If I want to use this as a bronzer, I can use it as a bronzer. If I want to use it as a skin hands, like a full over, all over face look, I could do that if I want. If I want to get a darker concealer and use it as a contour, I can do that. You can just do whatever you want with your products. I like this so far I like it it's nice and buildable that's for sure I'm using it as a bronzer because I prefer creamier bronzers on the body lately last here last I've been liking cream bronzers over powders even getting into like cream blushes I've been enjoying using cream a lot lately. This is a nice color on me. This is a shade light medium. Over all over warming complexion tint. I'm using it right now as a bronzer. That's why I initially picked it up for. I might give it a try on a day off where I'll throw this on see if I like it as a all over face or type thing but I think the color that I picked it up as it might be too dark I'll see because I initially picked this up as a bronzer I'm looking for cream bronzers so I've been repeating myself the last few times is I've been leaning towards cream 
So, again, makeup is whatever you want to use it as. If it says, if it says something along the line of like, okay, you can use it for this. No, you can use it for more than just that. Like you could, like your concealer, you can pick up like a dark, darker comp complexion of it and use it as a contour, or bronzers, powders. Like there's some like you can get certain powders, and you can use it either or. So like if you get a darker one, you can use it as a bronzer. You can use it whatever you want. Same thing. So yeah, I am gonna add some. or LYS blush. Been using this quite a bit lately. Again, I will try to find my review of the NARS Laguna. I am going to probably pick up a new one of it, see if it's if it fit the change the formula or not on it, but like this one, I'll make my older review. I'm probably going to pick up a new one of this here soon. So I highly recommend this one. And this one, I like it. Find something easy to get into that's kind of its downfall. I'm using the Queer Beauty um, Liquid Multitasker brush. I use this one a lot for like, I use this brush a lot, one of my recommendation brushes. If you're from Candy, or try and find like something like that. I guess I like using it for I use it on like a lot for bronzing and then I use then I go into like another type of style brush or I use it on my blend folds type thing. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna powder my face quickly here. I'm gonna use my I'm gonna add some of my uh, highlight on. Yes, it's well used and love for sure. I feel like I need a new one here. Cause it's broken. Oh, it broke off. I feel like a while ago. A lot of times though too is I like going in darker powder to lock in the color underneath. This is the closest pillow. This is the closest. I got this like the same size of Sephora. As far as the base looking, I'm liking it. I like it like a lot. I 
adding pillow talk. Oh, it's a lot eyeliner, but I'm using I'm using it. Okay, I'm gonna I just do my lower lash line here, the Sephora collection and shimmer cream underneath. face with some thermal blend lock it in last I'm not a huge fan of this I might go back to the urban decay since I got it I'm just gonna use it up throw the dye mascara from Physicians Formula on. And then I'm gonna wash it up. I'll be right back. So I got I my makeup on and I'm gonna give you guys what I think about this. Makeup by Mario Skin Sculpting Skin Transforming Sculpt transforming skin enhancer um so i'll check in with you guys a little bit so far i'm liking it but is it any as good as my nars laguna probably not because the uh cre i like the cream because the soup the mario and the uh that i feel like it's almost has the same consistency in my to me as the Nora's Laguna is more creamier. So. The creaminess of the Nora's Laguna I prefer. A better and a lot easier to get into. That's the. That one. And then yes, it is more. You get more of a bronzer type bronzy look out of the. Uh, Good night, in my opinion. Like, I feel like these two are too close to each other in a way, in my opinion. I'll see how well it wears. I'm liking how it gives me the nice glow factor right now, like the, like the skin glow. But I'm not 100% like keen on it. Whenever I, I can get my Laguna. Because in the, in the Lars Laguna, you get 
19 grams. So you get 67 ounces, 67 grams in this one, and then the skin enhancer, you get 18 or 5 grams. And this one you get 6.23 grams. So you get more mileage out of the Laguna than I'll say the other two. Because I think the cost factor of the It is $38 for that. $50 for that, Nora's Laguna, and Fetney, Fetney. Forty-four. So they're all roughly on the same price mark type thing, but more spend you spend more for one product than you do with another type thing. But the Nars I get for their longevity because I had it for almost almost two years honestly. I don't have a long time now. Can't remember when I got it. I'll link that video in the cards. Up above, see my review of it, and I'm probably gonna pick up a new one. See if it's a good, any good. And also, too, I did not realize how long I had this for, and it still has that scent. I was watching Tati's video the other day, and talked about the scent. I was like, I'm like, girl, like that came like a year and a half ago, two years ago. And she saw it about like sunscreen. It's like a sunscreen buttery hot dog. And I'm like, okay, I'll give that a send and see what's up. So I'll see how this goes. I'll maybe check in later on today, see how it goes. And yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Oh my god, I actually like forgot to put my highlight on. Hey guys, welcome to my final check-in for the me testing out the makeup by Mario. Translucent, oh my god, what was it again? Skin Transforming, I forgot the name of it. Sculpt, the self sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. I test this as a bronzer. So I gave this a few days, so this is my final check-in for this product. I tried it, I've been using it the last few times, type in just to get to know the product. I'm using it mostly as a, a bronzer that's what I kind of assumed it was and my brain assumes it was a bronzer I'm going to use it as a bronzer I'm going to continue using it as a bronzer type thing so do I enjoy it as a like a bronzer it's nice and soft and subtle glow like I'm wearing right now it's soft considering it's a softer one it's like it's up there with my softer ones for me at least it's considering in the like my NARS, not my NARS, my uh Fentany, Fent, Fentany cream is up there my NARS is more bolder in color she's well used I'm gonna be picking up a new one again here soon the makeup by Mario one. I like it. It's not my favorite. I got it and then keep on using it. Type thing. You can use it all over, as I was saying, it's all over warming complexion tint. It's more of a tint, you know what I mean? So like, okay. So I kind of like, okay, I'm giving it a try. It's a tint, so it's not gonna do too much. It just balances the skin out. Uh, you can go heavier with it, we can build it up type thing. 
like I've been blending it in one of these um, this one I've been trying to find a dupe for my blend holes so so far this one is feels a lot softer but maybe This might be the closest that I find so far, found so far, before of the, uh, for this dupe. Is this one the four puff? The f forever puff? The original? This is the original one right here. I think. So, yeah. I've been testing it out a few times. So, yeah. So what was I gonna say? Good find one. I might tempt to do it all over face with this one soon, but I might do them on my TikTok. My TikTok one is like I don't do anything really. I do some beauty. I, I my TikTok is I do have TikTok. I might just link it down below if you want to follow me there. It's not really beauty. It's more like you get to know a different side of me, like. I do all sorts of weird things on there. <laughs> to be fair, I'll do like my grocery chronicles. I do like quickly grocery gro like grocery chronicles, like weird things that happen to me at work type thing. And or like I'll do like some of the trends of the filters or whatever going on type thing. I might add some beauty content into that type thing, but I don't leave my most of my beauty content to YouTube because. I feel like YouTube's a lot better for BD content in the long run because I get to show you when I get my makeup on and I'll show you at the end of the day or something but like this one's not show me at the end of the day type thing because when I posted the video for this one or when I reviewed it was a Tuesday and when I get home at like it's almost 7 o'clock so It worn out quite well that day, actually. It worn really well. I'm sorry I don't got the uh, aftermath of it. That's my fault. I was tired when I got home from work, to be fair. Like, when it, when 7 o'clock comes on, 7 o'clock comes on, my God, I'm ready for bed. Sometimes, sometimes, or eight hour day work, right? So, yeah. I might work on like where I might just do like the final check-in on my phone in my car <laughs> before I leave work. So I might just do start doing that. Sorry, my ramble. So yeah, but I'm not really going anywhere today. I'm like dressed up, staying home, doing much of nothing. Just getting this done and doing it. I do this video next year, so yeah. So I'm gonna do my clothes out. No. Why do I say that? So right now, I post videos. I say every Wednesday and Friday. I might move it to Tuesday. Do I want to say I say this? Cool. I don't know. I might be posting videos on Tuesday now instead of on Wednesday. It might be easier that way for me. Yeah, let's just, just make this one. I gotta make it. I post every video. I post. I'm gonna vote for Tuesdays now. I'm moving my Wednesday videos to Tuesday. That might get me easier because I work later on those days. So yeah. So every Tuesday and Friday, I post new videos at 10 a.m. PST. Don't forget to subscribe, but don't ring a bell. And I need to update my info on my stuff. So hopefully, I see you guys again. I highly recommend ring the bell because hopefully you guys get the notifications because you never know when I upload.